Welcome to Ezekiel Academy YouTube channel. In this lecture, I want to examine planning and audit of financial statements. I will specifically examine financial statement risk. If you are coming across my lecture for the first time, please like the video and also share it with others. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you for being part of this channel. In my earlier video, I've examined audit risk and the business, business risk. So, I told you that business risk is a risk that threatened the ability of the business to achieve its objectives. It was stated in my earlier video that business risk is the risk that threatened the ability of the business to achieve its objective, which is usually stated as the objective of maximizing profit or maximizing the shareholder's wealth. The risk that threatened the ability of the business to achieve its objectives. So that is said to be the business risk. So business risk are the risk that the going concern status of the business might be called to question. Business risk are the risk that the going concern status of the business might be called to question. Some business risk might lead to financial statement risk. Some of them might lead to financial statement risk. Therefore, I would advise you watch my earlier video on business risk for better understanding. So what do we mean by financial statement risk? Financial statement risk is the risk that the financial statement will not give a true and fair view due to misstatement or omissions. The risk that the financial statement will not give a true and fair view due to misstatements or omissions. That is financial statement risk. Or you can say financial statement risk is the risk that the financial statement were wrong. The risk that the financial statement were wrong. Or the risk that the financial statements were incorrect. Financial statement risk are often caught by one window dressing of the financial statement. Window dressing of the financial statement. Of the financial statements. We have the financial statements are window dressed. Number two, we have big bats. Bats accounting or creative accounting technique. I will advise you to watch my earlier video on big bats accounting in order to know what big bats accounting means. So I want to examine the connection between risk, between business risk and financial statement risk. Connections between business risk and financial statement risk. I want you to know that failure of the management to deal with the business risk could lead to financial statement risk. If management fails to deal with the business risk, that business risk might result in financial statement risk or could lead to financial statement risk. For instance, weakness in internal control. No weakness in internal control of an entity is a business risk. Weakness in internal control, which is a business risk. A business risk which could result in misstatement in the financial statements. Risk of decline in sales demand for a product. It's also a business risk. Decline in sales demand of a product. This is also a business risk. How could this lead to financial statement risk? So, risk of decline in sales demand for a product could raise questions about the obsolescence of the product's inventories. 
So where the sales demand declines, it could raise a question for obsolescence of inventory. That means you will need to measure your inventory at the lower cost or net realizable value. So that means the realizable value of the product might turn out to be lower than the cost of such a product. So, and this failure by the entity to restate their inventory to the lower cost of net realizable value could result in a financial statement risk. You may be required to identify financial statement risk in a case scenario. Financial statement risk includes one, risk of over statement of revenue. Risk of overstatement of revenue or other income or other income. IFRS 15 requires that revenue should not be recognized until the performance obligations have been met, not when the payment is received. You recognize revenue when the performance obligations are satisfied, not when payment is or are received. So, if you fail to recognize revenue in accordance with IFRS 15, that poses a threat to the financial statement. That means the financial statement will not be correct. Number two, we have risk of overstatement of current assets. Risk of overstatement of current assets. Overstatement of current assets. We are sufficient allowances are not made for doubtful debts. The receivable figure in the financial statement will be overstated. So also the profit. If there are no so if allowances for doubtful debts are not made in the financial statement, that means the profit in the financial statement and the receivable in the financial statement will be overstated. That poses a significant threat to the financial statement. Number three, we have risk of overstatement of non-current assets. Risk, risk of overstatement of no of no current asset. Risk of overstatement of non-current asset. We are the entity phase two impair the non-current assets which have suffered the impairment. Or where there are indications for impairment of non-current assets and the entity fails to recognize such. In that case, the non-current asset of the entity will be overstated. At the same time, the profit of the entity will equally be overstated. That is risk of overstatement of non-current assets. Then risk of understatement of liabilities. Number four, risk of understatement of liabilities. IS 37 deals with provisions for contingent assets and liabilities. So all provisions are covered in IES 37. So where provisions are not made in the financial statement, when it is appropriate to make one, then the liability will be understated. The entity fails to make provision where they ought to have done that. So the liability will be understated. You know, where provisions are made, you are recognizing additional liabilities in the financial statement. But you now fail to make provision for liabilities, liability will be understated. And if liability is understated, that is equally leading to overstatement of profit in the financial statement. That is a significant threat to the financial statement. Number five, risk of understatement of operating expenses. 
risk of understatement of operating operating expenses where the expenses are understated then that means the profit of the entity will be overstated number six risk from accounting estimates risk from the accounting accounting estimates this is covered in is 8 accounting policies changes in accounting estimates and errors that is covered in is 8 the accounting estimates relies on management judgment it relies on the management judgment there could be risk of misstatements where estimated amount are materials there could be risk of misstatement where the estimated amounts are materials number seven we have failure to comply with the requirement of specific accounting standard failure to comply with the requirement requirement of specific accounting standards we are the entity face to comply with the requirement of specific accounting standards such as ifrs ias that will pose a significant risk to the entity so i will stop this lecture here in my next video i will solve questions from my past questions that will cover both the business business risk and financial statement risk please don't forget to drop the love emoji also share the video with others thanks for watching Ezekiel.